guys welcome back to bougie doll life my name is katrina and today we're starting our new dollhouse series so if you don't know about the dollhouse series i take a dollhouse and i transform it into kind of like a realistic looking home and today we're going to be starting with the zoe dollhouse that's the house we're doing for the series for this dollhouse series i'm super excited for this house to show you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and build it and give you guys a tour and let's get started building this dollhouse and making it brand new dollhouse fully built it is a a-frame dollhouse so this is the first floor it has a glass window and it has a closet right here that is really cute and then i didn't put any of the stairs in because i'm a photographer i, I photograph dolls so having stairs kind of in the way of getting certain angles and on the second floor the second floor right here which is kind of like a dining area which i'm just gonna make it into like an eating area because i already have a kitchen so I'm not gonna make a kitchen in this floor. I'm gonna make this actual like dining room. And then down here we have kind of like the living room slash reading area or living room space. So I'm definitely excited to do this. And then next to it, we have the bathroom, which I didn't want a big bathroom in this house because we're gonna do stuff in here, but not too much stuff. I wanna make like a minimalist bathroom, not too much things going on, very airy and light. And then this is the balcony right here that has working lights so when you press that the lights turn on it has two motions it has the blinking and then it has the straight lights like that so this is the area right here i'm probably just going to do a couple things out here because i actually do like the blue panels on the side of the house right here and on the balcony and i really like it it's just some things i want to change and that's pretty much the dollhouse so let's go ahead and start painting the dollhouse we're gonna start first by painting the second floor and then i'm going to paint the first floor a little bit of wall that's up there in the same color so for that i'm going to be using the color almond milk by bayer dynasty this is the semi-gloss paint so i'm going to go ahead and paint the second and top floor with this color first coat of that almond milk paint color and then I painted the second floor with the same color for the first coat I'm going to wait for this to dry and then we're going to go ahead and go in with a second Before coat. we wait for this to dry we're going to move down to the bottom floor and for the bottom floor we're going to gloss by the same brand the beer dynasty and this is also a semi gloss so I'm going to use that all on the living room floor and then I'm going to use that same color in the bathroom. This is how the paint's looking once it got the two coats on it. It looks really good. So this is the almond milk and the second floor is almond milk and the bottom floor is frost. I probably have to touch a little bit up of the white and the little patches that I see. But other than that, it looks perfect. And then this is the bathroom, I painted it white as well. And the balcony, I just painted off that grill and I painted the balcony the same color. So now I'm just waiting for everything to dry so we can go ahead and do the floor of the dollhouse. And for the floor, I'm going to use wood grain paper. I'm gonna be using this on to do the floors. I think this one is very nice. This is actually the lightest color I've ever used in a dollhouse. Usually I go for my more like a gray or a light brown, but I think this will be perfect in this dollhouse. So that's what we'll be doing next. And to glue it down, I'll be using this fabric tack glue to glue the floors down and I'm going to do this floor right here that you guys can see that I'm just going to go ahead and glue the floors in just like that and lay it flat and then once I do the whole house I'll show you guys the whole entire house.
covered all the floors with the wood grain contact paper. You guys, that it does come with the side picture and fireplace on the side of the bedroom of this dollhouse. And it's really, really pretty. I really wanted to show that to you guys. So this is pretty much it for part one of the dollhouse. It's pretty much painting and covering the floors. Okay, guys, so this is pretty much it for part one of the renovations of this dollhouse. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on social media at Bougie Doll Life. And I'll see you guys in part two where we actually start room by room doing the decor for every single room in this house. I cannot wait to show you guys what I have in store for you guys to show you guys how I'm going to do this house. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.